David Crosby has passed away at the age of 81. David Crosby was a singer, songwriter and guitarist and a founding member of two legendary bands, The Beats and Crosby, Stills and Nash. He was born in Los Angeles and started his musical journey with The Beats in 1964 where they found their first member one hit just a year later with the cover Bob Dylan's Mr. Tommy Noll Man. In 1968, David formed Crosby, Stills and Nash with Steven Stills and Graham Nash. The group went on to win a Grammy for the Best New Artist in 1969 and over the years they collaborated with other artists including Neil Young at Woodstock. Loyal Morissette passed away on Monday at the age of 93. Loyal was best known for being the mastermind behind the creation of Sesame Street. He had a vision to use television as a tool for educating preschoolers and it was this vision that would go on to revolutionize children's television. As co-founder Joanne Gans Cooney states there would be no Sesame Street without Lloyd. It was he who first came up with the notion of using television to teach preschoolers basic skills such as letters and numbers. The idea for Sesame Street started back in 1965 when Lloyd noticed his three years old daughter engagement with the family's TV set. Randy Gonzalez, the father in the popular TikTok duo Anki Boys has died at the age of just 35 and he has his son Bryce Gaines a following for their dynamic father and son relationship and humor which brought joy to millions of people Randy bravely shared his battle with colon cancer with his followers and even started a GoFundMe to help pay for his treatments after he was denied at the cancer center He used this platform to spread awareness about the disease and remain positive throughout his journey While Randy may have passed at the young age of 35 he has left a lasting impact through his son Bryce who went on to crack audiences up on NBC's Lopez vs. Lopez. Billy Packer, the long-time broadcaster and analyst, has passed away at the age of 82. Packer had a tremendous impact on the growth and popularity of college basketball. He was connected with the sport for more than three decades and was there to call some of the sport's greatest all-time games. His Simon Says Championship line after Miles Simon and Arizona won the 1997 championship remains one of the most iconic iconic calls in the history of the game Billy Packer will be deeply missed by all in the world of college basketball Jesse Leminor a former outside linebacker for the Detroit Lions has passed away the team announced Thursday morning details surrounding Leminor's death are not yet known Jesse Leminor was an undrafted free agent out of Liberty University where he made history by becoming the third player in Flames history to record 10 or more sacks in a season he signed with Los Angeles Angeles Chargers after the 2020 NFL draft and played in 6 games before he was waived in August 2021. He also had a short stint with Arizona Cardinals. Tom Verlain, frontman and lead guitarist for the legendary band Television, has passed away at the age of 73. Tom passed away in Manhattan after a brief illness according to a statement from his partner's daughter Jessie Smith. Tom Verlain and Television were a major influential group in the rock era of 1970s creating a new sound that became known as mainstream punk and alternative rock they got their start at the famous CBGB club in New York City and their debut album Marky Moon is considered a masterpiece and a defining contribution to pop culture after the band broke up in the late 1970s Valerian went on to have a successful solo career releasing 9 albums Chris Ford NBA champion and former coach has passed passed away at the age of 74 years old Chris was known for making the first three point basket in the league history he was drafted by the Pistons in the second round of the 1972 NBA draft and spent his first seven season with Detroit he joined the Boston Celtics and was a vital member of the 1981 championship team Ford went on to win two more NBA titles with Celtics as an assistant coach and later became the 11th head coach in the franchise. franchise history in 1990